Kerwin's Game Store, the best place in gaming. We were talking to Jimmy before this. He was saying that Affinity is probably his worst matchup. So we'll see how this ends up going. Um, <clears throat> he got paired up and Kyle Yembo got paired down. So that's why they have to play. Otherwise, they would just be able to tie in. Um, so, yeah. Jimmy starts off at 20 with a Doom Traveler, and you just see Kyle having his way, going to 18, having four permanents on the board as opposed to Jimmy's two. Probably getting Blood Crypt here. I would assume. No. God, let's try. Let's the only thing he has double oh. white is silver blade he paladin. Gets mountain. He gets basic mountain. I mean, he's trying to conserve his life total. He is very wary about this matchup. He doesn't just want to die out of nowhere. Yeah, I mean, he, he doom traveler is a pretty good blocker to a bear mem knight, to be honest. And then he gets to throw the grim lava mancer. Ooh. Oh dear lord. Matchup just got not so bad. He ha he's gonna have to throw some things in the graveyard like that doom traveler, mm -hmm. and Kyle might not let him do that. You know, not swing into it, but. Plating. There's a cranial plating. Ooh. There's that. One, two, three, four, five. One, six two, three, four, five. Life six lifelink. If there's a path in his hand. Okay. So Jimmy goes to thirteen. See, this, these are some of the draws. See, we ha we weren't seeing any of these affinity draws earlier in the day. Jimmy goes. Uh, Kyle goes to plus six. So twenty-four. And. Yeah, Jimmy's deck looks way more fair. Um, I mean, if you can get, if you can get something. List? Yeah, the Affinity List is very just stock. Nothing so, too four crazy. Four Arcbound, four Springleaf, four Mox, two Memnite, three Overseer. Three um, that's a card that I, I like, cannot see at all. Uh, cost one mana, so. No, two mana. Okay. Um, two I don't mana, like, he it has. could be Bob. It, I think it's Dahlia. Kyle and his Affinity List has program. the. Uh, a welding jar, and I feel like that's not good anymore. Just not needed. Um, so he's swinging for seven, eight, activating the blink moth nexus. I believe it's eight. So I think Kyle's about to go to thirty-two. Yeah, there's no way. Of Talk going. about the nuts. I mean, if he had a removal spell, he'd been in, he'd be in much better shape. But Kyle, pretty much no way. Jimmy's now. at five. He has an edge champion. Like he's yeah, just not long for this world anyway. Yeah, that's just it. He just scoops him up. I'm not quite sure what that what the card he played was, but irrelevant. Yeah, so yeah, most likely just not relevant to that. Yeah, we're gonna hop over to the second match real quick while. Uh, they shuffle up. We got Kevin Jones on uh, Scape Shift uh, playing against uh, another Affinity deck. Oh, okay. There's a lot of Affinity Pop here. Yeah. This guy's playing one Master of Ethereum, um, three Memnite, four Ornithopter, Signal okay, Pest, Vault like too. <laughs> full. This guy's playing one in Soul Artifact, three Thought Cast, and two Galvanic Blast, and one Island. Oh, but he's playing three Glimmer Boys. Yeah, so he's still only playing 16 lands. Um, wait, no, these guys are playing right now. Oh, he's mulliganing. They're, yeah, they're still shuffling. Okay. So, on the main screen, let's see what these guys have for each other's decks. Jimmy has Lingering Souls to bring in. He has Wear Tear to bring in. He has Rakdos Charm to bring in. Maybe Imposing Sovereign, maybe Near Heath Pilgrim. But there are a lot of things that he can do to change this because that game was just... So just so everyone knows, Kevin did win on the feature match too against the Affinity deck. Already? Kind of surprised. Yeah, Kevin won the first game. How? I'm not quite sure. I guess bad draw. Bad draw for the... Like, the Affinity might have just scooped. A turn five win for Kevin? Yeah, I mean, you could go turn one. Turn one to spend the ramp. Turn two... Soccer Tribe Builder, then turn five you have seven and you can just... That's the thing I can think of most. Um, yeah, um, drawing into the top eight are the Kiki Pod list that was in the side before that we didn't really get to get a look at. 
but I, we'll be seeing more of it later in the top eight. And um, the blue red twin list, that's a tempo one. Uh, we don't have it on us right now, but it is not the one that ended up making, ended up like accidentally playing into the bad play with the Soul Sisters deck. This guy seems to be a lot more versed in the twin deck. He he likes it a lot. He said this morning he was playing Scape Shift. <laughs> yeah, like he planned on playing Scape Shift. But you know, he threw up the bat signal and got them got them answered. <laughs> Or Seems no, backwards. he he threw up. <laughs> yeah, he, he's Gotham. He threw up the bat signal, and Batman came to his rescue. AKA Escape Shift. <laughs> um. So yeah, for anybody who's just joining us now, we are in round six of the Kerwin's Game Store TCG Modern TCG Player Modern 5K New York State Championship. The winner of this event gets invited to two different 50Ks. One is in Indianapolis. The other one is somewhere unbeknownst. And At least not to our it's to, yeah to us we don't know but it's insane value like TCG player sent out send out the email so, TCG player sent out this email basically saying hey everybody instead of one we're gonna give two invitations for the state championships for the for these state championships to go through these 50ks and everyone was like what so not only is it a 5k and the first place is walking away with fifteen hundred dollars you're getting invited to two 50ks I'm pretty sure. What is this guy doing? Ornithropter. Awkwardly reverting his Mox Opal tap. Because he couldn't tap it. Cause tap there, yeah. There we go. Okay. Chill. And, and full. Six cards. Okay, almost full hand. You see, Jimmy's That's face. Seven, that is seven permanents. Jimmy's face was like real? Seven permanents. If that is. There's no way that's a cranial plating. No. In his hand? Please say no. Is he just dead next turn? <laughs> Kyle is at 18. Um, cranial plating would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Six, it would make a 2 turn clock. He would run on turn 3. It would make 8, 9, yeah. That's, that plus is the insane. Plus, plus the signal plus sugar on that, yeah. Um, 2 turn clock. Turn 3 win. Affinity. Basic planes. Um, I don't know what he's going for. Hopefully Jimmy has some sort of idea, has some sort of game plan. You know, because this is his worst ma worst. Mass worst Matchup, according to him. Uh, the feature on Table 2 Eternal is Kevin Jones versus... Somebody. Kevin Jones versus... Um, you have it. Oh, uh, Zachary, Zachary Matulo. Matulo. He's playing Affinity, Affinity as well. Affinity versus Scape Shift. Kevin on Scape Shift. Oh, no, it's just an Arcbound Ravager. <laughs> oh, my. So, he takes two. Borderline nuts. Why didn't he tap? No, I guess that's okay. So you know this is this is one of the more fair draws of Affinity. You know, he ha he is hellbent, but at the same time he doesn't like he's not really doing a lot. Like he can have a big arc battle average, but Jimmy's fine so chump blocking, chump blocking, chump blocking with this with his Doom Traveler. Maybe token. Pilgrim. Maybe his Pilgrim is definitely going to help Jimmy a lot. A little bit. We'll see. <laughs> Sixteen and nineteen is the life totals. There's a wear tear in Jimmy's hand. Wear tear is pretty good. That's a good card. Yeah. I think Jimmy might be playing around Blood Moon a little bit too much. I mean, if he's playing around it. Like, I'm not, I'm not sure why he needed that second planes. But apparently he was the deck designer for one of the, um... Oh yeah, remember? For one of the, for one of the people who are doing very well in the tournament. So I'm assuming this guy's a very good theorist and wanted to use this deck he thought it was well posi positioned. We'll, um, we'll have to ask him. I guess he didn't expect this much affinity. And boom goes the dynamite. This draw is absolutely insane. <laughs> uh, whoever Chima Lion is just said, is that the modern staple near Heath Pilgrim I see? Uh, one hundred percent. That is most definitely. Never leave home without two playsets. One for you and one for your friend. I mean, there's no way you don't just oh, regenerate target artifact. Yeah. He can't wear tear the cranial plating. That's absurd. Actually. Jeez, he's just Jeez. dead. Jeez. He's just dead. Jeez. 
like this is this is just insane. Like Jimmy just didn't have any luck. That must be some good draws. Trying to like I guess Jimmy should have accepted the draw. Well, because he didn't think he would be able to make it, so there's no point in drawing if he's gonna crack, he's gonna go get a red source, um, so he can cast the tear part, right? No, the wear part. Jimmy's gonna be at 15. Um, oh, Kyle's probably at 21 now. Or no, signal pet. Wait. Um, want to ask the table just for what? life total because I don't know if he hasn't recognized the fault scourge, life link. Yeah. Um, Kyle Yembo blows his welding jar because that's the only thing you should do. Mm -hmm. Um, Jimmy proceeds to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage, going to six. Five, uh, our table has, our table judge is saying he's a five. Oh, the fetch land? Five to 21. I counted the fetch land. I, I think I just missed a point of, uh... Damage. A point of life Ooh, the double here. strike lifelink incoming. Ooh! That is your modern staple silver blade paladin, right? Yeah. Silver blade paladin and new hit pilgrim working very well together. Isn't he still dead on board? Um, well, you see, if he doesn't block, he gains four life. If he does block, he only gains two life. So that changes it. And he also has a yeah, lightning he bolt. Block, so he goes to seven. He, so Jimmy goes to. Oh, he did? Yes. With seven. what? The, he attacked. With New Heat. No, but who, he oh. has double strike at lifelink. So Jimmy goes to nine. He goes to 17. And Jimmy well, has. No, a, this, our table judge said seven to 17. It has double strike. Oh, wait. It was three to 21. Okay. Okay, never mind. So 7 to 17. 7 to 17. Sorry about this changing of life so <laughs> rapidly, but that's what happens in aggro decks. Um, aggro mirrors. Yeah, so he's just going to bolt on attacks. He's going to play Spell Skite, move that over there. What? What? He didn't bolt on attacks? What? Why is his... He bolted before attack? I'm not sure. Or maybe he bolted and then in response we missed him moving over? I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not really sure what happened, but that was just a beating. Jimmy Martin had done very well with this very suspect deck. He was Let's one way over away. The, head over the, uh, yeah, we can head over to our feature match number two. Affinity versus Kevin Jones. Kevin Jones has an Inferno oh. Titan and is going for the Affinity player. You know you're in trouble. He's gonna activate Ink Moth Nexus and declare it as a blocker on Inferno Titan, making it a 5 5. If Kevin can pump it, not that that's needed. Oh, Kevin's is just gonna charm? is it charm the Ink Moth Nexus. I think he might, I have a feeling. I'm assuming that Kevin's about to be doing lethal very shortly and lightning bolt you, and that's okay. game. So, Kevin, never mind. That was, he, Kevin Jones didn't even need the Shatterstorm in his hand. <laughs> so, sometimes, that is both of our, ma of our feature matches for this round. Go ahead, um, to us. We may be able to get some more. Yeah, it was only like 10 minutes. Yeah, that was very sometimes short. Sometimes ramp just wins. Yeah, um, sometimes.